This doesn't look like much, does it? But it started the whole magic business, which is the business I'm in. This was the very first ever recorded trick in the whole history of magic. In the Valley of the Kings in Egypt, there's a hieroglyphic on the wall of a man doing this trick. And since time began, magicians have always performed this trick in medieval marketplaces and even now in Blackpool. Modesty prevents me mentioning who's working in Blackpool. Now, <laughs> What we do is, it's very important, it, uh, we pick on somebody like you, sir, sitting in the front, white t-shirt, open neck, little thingy on there. You, sir, what's your name? My name's Peter. Oh, very loud, very loud. My name's Peter. Peter, that's the idea. Fill the theatre with sound, dear boy. <laughs> Fill it. Now, Peter, where are you from? Chingford. Oh, Chingford. Essex, isn't it? London. They've moved it. <laughs> Good grief, they've moved Chingford. So, Peter, oh, Chingford. London, knee Essex. <laughs> Where is the ball? On the cup. On top of the cup? Yes. Yes, is the wrong answer. It's on the bottom. The cup is upside down. <laughs> now, the next question. <laughs> Years of skill and devotion. <laughs> Perhaps my speed is baffling you, Peter. <laughs> so I shall give you a second chance. Peter... Where is the ball? On the bottom of the cup. On the bottom of the cup. You have learned fast. <laughs> but be very careful that I don't sneak it into my left hand. If the ball's in my left hand, it's in my left hand. If it's not in my hand, it's under the cup. If the ball was under the cup at the same time, it's in my hand, it couldn't be in my hand if it was under the cup, because then the cup and the ball couldn't be separate. If they were separate, they couldn't be together. If it was in my pocket, you'd know it was in my pocket, not in my hand or under the cup. If on the other hand it was in my hand, it couldn't be in my pocket. If it was in my hand, it couldn't be under the cup. If the cup and the ball were together, then the cup couldn't be empty, could it? If it had the ball in there. If on the other ball wasn't in there, it was in there, it couldn't be under the cup. If it was under the cup at the same time, it couldn't be in my hand. If it was in the hand <laughs> You're not following this, are you, Peter? Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast for Peter. Here is a television action replay. <laughs> Where's the ball? You're even nodding slowly now, Peter. Where's the ball? In the cup. In the cup. I shall take it out, put it into my pocket. Where is it now for £4.50? In the cup. In the cup is wrong. It's in my pocket. <laughs> you should have said it was in my pocket. I'd have said wrong. It's under the cup. <laughs> get a cup, get a ball. Now, you drop the ball in the cup, Peter. The moment the ball is in the cup, this is what you do. You sweep it out of the cup with a sweeping, swooping action. You put the ball in your pocket and you flick it very hard. Now, the moment the ball, don't forget, Peter, goes in your pocket, flick it hard. Now, the ball will shoot up your sleeve, see? Flick, and it gets stuck here. It does. So, what you do is you flick and you roll it across your shoulders. Now, this action can make you very popular in some places. 
<laughs> so what you do is this, you see, you've got to flick the ball up. Now, don't forget to put the cup down to catch the ball that goes up the sleeve, across the shoulder, down the side and under the cup. But be very careful that you don't put the little ball into the wrong pocket, because then the ball is confused, Peter. And when you go flick, it doesn't know where to go. But everybody claps anyway, because when you flick, look at that, you've got a lemon. It bounces and completely. It's an amazing... If you clap that, you'll go mad over the orange. I don't know where the orange comes from. Oh, aren't you kind? You're nice. <laughs> well, look at that. We've got oranges and lemons, but no apples. But here's Big Apple, the latest disc from Kajagoogoo. This is it, kid. Hey, it's hardly the Ritz, you know. Oh, I think you're being a bit unkind, Vera. <laughs> I think it's rather nice. Didn't you see the sign outside? It said AA, four stars. Hey, I knew it. It's a garage. I thought I could smell petrol. <laughs> hey, listen, shop. Hey, there's nobody around. You stay here and mind the cases. And if any strange men come, tell them to hang on. I won't be a minute. Oh, right. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to get away. It's funny, really, but when you go on holiday, people seem to be more relaxed, you know, friendly, sort of considerate-like. Are you all right? <laughs> uh, where's the dog? 
Come on. Where's the dog? What dog? I haven't got a dog. Well, I heard voices. Come on. Who were you speaking to? Well, I was talking to myself, actually. Well, uh, sorry, you can't stay here. Uh, <laughs> right, come on. Why don't you try somewhere else, like uh, Singapore? Oh. Um, come on, back to the home. No, you don't understand. I'm here with a friend. Oh, I see. Oh, yes, here she is. Hello, how pleased to meet you. I'm sorry we're fully booked. Uh, would you take your friend back to ramp? Oh. oh! Typical, isn't it? You try to run a decent establishment and the guests come in to spoil it all. I've even had to hire a tennis coach to teach the cretins which end of the racket to hold. Uh, where is the colonial creep? Man, you know this place is a joke. The restaurant's closed, the bar's closed. I just cannot believe it, man. Well, you better start getting used to it then, hadn't you? Look, I pay you nearly 20 pounds a week to work here, and you're never here. I mean, you were out again yesterday. I was in. You were out. Are you blind, man? I was definitely in. Don't lie to me. You were out. What is it with you people? I was in, man. God, I just can't believe. Right, I've had enough of this. Oh, sorry, <laughs> foot fault. Uh, take this tennis racket for your services. <laughs> this place is the pits. No wonder Garolitis won't stay here. Um, excuse me, young man. What was that you were saying? I was talking about Garolitis. Well, do you know I've had that? Yes, but, um, very nasty. It's cleared up now. I've had the injection. <laughs> um, do you fancy a little game? Uh, I think it might be a love match. Listen, man, don't you try playing any games with me, you creep. Otherwise, I'll show you my forehand smash. Ooh, creep. seemed like a nice boy. <laughs> Barbaric, but nice. Do you know what I fancy now? Don't make up your own jokes. <laughs> no, what I fancy is a nice cup of tea with pleasant company. Hey, oh, it's John Inman. What brings you to Torquay, eh, John? Well, I'm in season two, Larry. Oh, <laughs> doesn't show. No, no, no. No, what I mean is I'm doing a summer show like you. Isn't it exciting? Oh, it's marvellous. But, you know, I, I miss me television. Oh, yes, yes, I'm the same. I like that University Challenge. Hello, and welcome to University Challenge. A bonus of 30 points coming, and here's the start of the term. <laughs> You're on your own, no conferring. <laughs> Spencer Grange Hill? <laughs> no, I'm sorry about that, Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> I was just reaching across for my glass of water and my finger slipped on the buzzer. <laughs> OK. That's a five-point penalty. Oh, that's hardly fair. Well, here's your question. Who said, let them eat cake? <laughs> Spencer Grange Hill? <laughs> Would that be Mr Kipling? <laughs> I'm afraid it would not. No. Oh, well, he does make exceedingly good cakes. <laughs> Do you know, I have a weakness. Yes, I've heard, Larry. No, no, I have a weakness for children's programmes. Really? You know. Oh, yes, I love that postman Pat and his black and white cat. Oh, yeah. oh hey ho. Oh, yes. yes. Puts me in mind of my own postman, Pop It In Pete. <laughs> Very good. Mind you, my, my own favourite is Wurzel Gummidge. Oh, well, hello, me dears. Uh, I've got me romance net on today, and uh, what I need is a little bird uh, that'll look after me and do all me cookings. <laughs> I wish I could fry. Thank you a pie. But I can't. Oh, you can. <laughs> Hey, well, well, never mind, little bird. You comes home with me, and I'll bake us a pie. Oh, with me? Oh, hi, you're an essential ingredient. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what about that? That was Orville. Orville? It was disgusting. <laughs> First hour's ten past six. Right, with you, Larry. Let's go. The 
Introduced quite a number of amazing, wonderful acts over the last few years on TV, but none of them caused the reaction, the stir, the fuss, the letters that our next guest did. Will you please welcome back to British television the Bubble Man, Tom Noddy? Thank you. As Paul said, my name is Tom Noddy. What I do is called bubble magic. I'll tell you what I do. I put bubbles inside of bubbles, smoke bubbles, clear bubbles, clear bubbles inside of smoke bubbles, smoke bubbles inside of clear bubbles, inside out bubbles, yin yang bubbles, caterpillar bubbles, love bubbles, and a bubble cube. All of which is very difficult to talk about. <laughs> I'll show you bubbles inside of bubbles. It's okay, they only taste bad the first couple of years, you know. <laughs> this next one is the uh, Wonderland bubble. Wonderland because it gets curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> Next one I'm going to do, I demonstrated one time in a mathematics lecture at UCSC. It was called Soap Film Beer Bubbles and Fluid Mechanics, Major Challenges in the History of Mathematics. 
physics major told me a bubble cube, which I'm going to do, he said that would be impossible. But he was a physics major with an incomplete understanding of physics. <laughs> which many of us have. Which all of us have, right? Nothing's impossible. Don't listen to the physics majors, at least not without first consulting the vaudevillians, okay? Now I'll show you a carousel bubble. All of that was very good for the people uh, watching on TV at home and people close up, but I think some of the people in the back couldn't see some of these, so I want to do something for the people in the back. I'll do the biggest bubble you've ever seen. I, I don't know the biggest bubble you've ever seen. Maybe you could help me. If it's the biggest bubble you've ever seen, if y'all can t say, ooh, okay, that'll help me. Then I'll know, right? And if it isn't the biggest bubble you've ever seen, then it's ah, okay, oohs and ahs. That'll, that'll work, okay? some ahs out there, okay. Well, we're gonna try for the biggest one everybody here has ever seen. Oh. Really, applause isn't enough. I really need to hear oohs. Y'all know ooh? You know that one in England? You know ooh? <laughs> Okay, we're going to shoot for complete ooze here. Go to the big one. I have one more thing I want to show you. Bubble magic is no illusions, it's real magic. Thank you very much. Thank you. You can all see me. This isn't in your way, is it, loves? <laughs> You've all had a good look at this thing now. It's a bit of show when I come on. I can't work in it. Kim, would you take it, love? Oh, I do say you look nice. Yes, oh, very well. <laughs> oh, I knew he's had his eye on it all the afternoon. <laughs> Keep your eye on it. 
love, I got it the hard way. <laughs> I'm just a girl who wants some love. Don't want a moon or a star above. If that certain boy he could fall for me, what I'd say is plain to see. Oh, that's beautiful. Come on and cuddle me in the clover. Chase me, chase me, chase me, little sweetheart of mine. When you cuddle me in the clover, catch me, catch me, catch me while the sun starts to shine. Hey, I know I ought to go. I want to stay. Don't let me get away. Come on and cuddle me in the clover. And kiss me, kiss me, kiss me till the sun goes down and then. You can chase me, catch me, chase me, catch me, kiss me all over again. Yep, come on and cuddle me. Kiss me till the sun goes down and then uh, You can chase me, you can catch me you can, uh, 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 All over again Yeah, never waited on a step for so long. <laughs> Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give what they call a token performance. <laughs> Cambridge, that is. <laughs> Did a good week's business down there. <laughs> Didn't do that at rehearsals save all the good ones for now. <laughs> I myself, ladies and gentlemen, will render this song for you. And always remember, render means to tear apart. Excuse me a moment, I'll just have a little word with the musicians. Let me a moment. Now, Bill, I can't pitch a note, as you know, unless I have my instrument with me, so... Uh, I wonder if you could give me the little... I believe you refer to it as the bell note yeah. that leads me in, and that'll mean that I'm singing in the same key that you're playing. Right. Great. I'm quite ready, then, right. when you are. Right. I'll get myself into position. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me. <laughs> was that it? Yes, that was a little note you asked for. Ah, yes. I think he's a bit over the top with that, don't Tony, don't you? A teeny, wasn't it? Of course, it wasn't a little note, it was a tiny. <laughs> wasn't it, Tony, a tiny little note? What? You notice how serious they've got? <laughs> That's the actor in me. <laughs> Hit the tiny in them. Come, William Blazard Esquire, cock. <laughs> Everybody knows your prowess upon the dominoes. If I could have the archipelago. They took the breeze from the trees, whispering weird and very wonderful melodies, and they took the start of the blues. <laughs> Never, never in the whole of my long career did I think this would ever happen to me, that my friends would let me down with a house full of wonderful people. <laughs> did you like that? <laughs> Straight acting. That's what that was. I put a bit in sometimes. Not as often as I'd like. <laughs> you often get to that. Ladies and gentlemen, I am now going to do the walking up and down bit. Oh. Right, we know what we've got to do now, don't oh, we? Yes. Yes, I'll give you the one, two, and you'll pick me right, up. Right, right. I'll be on the A4. <laughs> 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 From the whippoorwill, out on the hill, they took a new note. <laughs> Pushed it through a horn, till it was warm. Here it is. What on earth is that? <laughs> oh, a lovely cat. <laughs> Imitation, a cocker spaniel. <laughs> Imitation number two, last but by no means least. A jazz singer, as he very well could be, under a certain set of circumstances. <laughs> Thank you. Oh! From the whippoorwill, out on the hill, they took a new note, pushed it through a hall till it was born. In a brand new note, and then they nursed it, they rehearsed it, and then they gave up the news.
years ago, more years than I care to remember, I appeared on a television show for the BBC, dear Auntie Beeb, from Manchester. And it was called For My Next Trick. Tonight, I'm going to recreate an illusion that I did on that series, and it's standing over here. Now, the illusion stands free of everything all around. It's got a chair behind it, because we're going to involve a couple of people from the auditory hum. And they are over there somewhere. So, what's your name, sweetheart? Suzanne. Suzanne, nice to see you. And... Richard. Richard, there you go. Now, Richard, do me a favor, boy. Do me a favor. Would you come over there, because they paid to see me. Thank you. Now, this is important. <laughs> Suzanne, you go and sit on the chair around the back of the illusion. And, Richard, what I want you to do is very simple. This is a big box, but I want you to examine that, because you're a fine... How nice of you to dress up to come on the show. <laughs> Won't you? Yeah. Um, Richard, they're over there, the people, you see. <laughs> uh, go and turn around. They can check it. Now, look. Have a look at that while I explain to Suzanne what's going on. Suzanne. You're there to make sure nobody sneaks out the back of this box, all right? And nobody is going to sneak out of the back of the box, because I'd like you to meet the person who, in fact, is going in the box. Don't meet her too closely. Nice round of applause for Debbie McGee. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> this is Debbie McGee. Now, Debbie, as you can see, is in fact a bit bigger than the box, so what we do is we just ask you to move there a touch, Richard. You see this, because of the framing on the box, it doesn't open very far, and we can open the doors a little bit, by like that and just get her in there without straining the frame you'll understand what i mean by the frame in a little moment because when i close the doors like this if i can just close that on you debbie like that and that on there debbie has to lock the middle one herself it's a bit dangerous this and then she has to put her foot out the bottom like that you can see her foot there you see that's debbie's foot that's debbie's hand put your hand out there sweetheart can you little flap there for debbie's hand all right would you like to stroke that yeah Exciting stuff, isn't it? Your business. Now, out here is her other hand. There's the handle, sweetheart. I know you can't see it because your head's in the wrong place. Would you like to stroke that as well? Look, see, she's smiling. She likes it. She likes it. Now, what we do is this. You've examined that. That is a solid blade, isn't it? It's the full width of the cabinet. You can see that, can't you? And what I do is I take the blade and I try to push it through. Now, it sticks, obviously, a little bit because, you know, she's got a figure and it goes right through. Isn't that good? Come around this side, I'll show you another bit. If you take this, like this, you can actually push it through there, you see, I like that. Now, you saw the blade come out of the back, yeah, okay, and that goes out that side, see? We'll get another one, because I like doing that. Now, you see, it's this, full width blades, and they go all the way through there, like that. Now, obviously, this is just dissecting the legs a little bit, but never mind, we just get all the way through there, and there's only that last little bit there now to, uh, to do by doing this. Now, the reason you're here is to do a bit of physical labor. What do you actually do for a living? Factory manager. A factory manager? Oh, you only manage then, you're not used to work. Right, now. <laughs> now, what you do is you get hold of the, um, the handles on that side, sir, and you push, all right? Now, just push, that's it, just push, push, push. What's the matter, does it hurt? Oh, don't worry, don't worry, it'll be all right in a minute. Right, and we just push it to there like that and then if we can just unlock that from there and we unlock that from there now let's just have a quick check here you can see all the way through there yes wave at the people right through there just dig duck down and wave through would you like to put your hand in there yes 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 oh look i'll give you a little hand what i'll do is i'll just pull that away from there how did it nice to see you just stroke that, that's a real hand, isn't it? Yes, yes. Kiss that cheek. Just kiss that cheek. Load that bud. Now, can you just move your foot a little bit for me, love? Just to prove it's still there. Thank you. That's your foot, okay? Now, would you now come over this side, sir? Come over this side. And what I want you to do is this, you see? There's a middle for diddle, wiggling away there. Not a, pr not a pretty sight. Do you want another look? You can. Yes, yes. All right, yes, go on now. There you see? She's breathing heavily. And, and just um, stroke that, yes? Now, Debbie, he's going back to the seat in the audience. Would you wave your right hand goodbye? Wave goodbye. There you are. Bye-bye. Uh, nice round of applause for this very good volunteer. You go off down there. <laughs> Mrs. Woman, you come to me. You have a one last look, all right? It's just an illusion. You go back over there. And from me, Paul Daniels, and from Debbie McGee, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>
Paul Daniels is currently appearing in his own show at the Opera House in Blackpool. He's back on Monday on Radio 2 in the morning at 10 o'clock with the show direct from Blackpool and in the evening at 20 to 8 with the Paul Daniels Magic Show on BBC Two. This is BBC One with Autumn Entertainment.